Hey there. <clears throat> so I want to talk about the Trinity of a woman. This is a download I got maybe three or four days ago that I wanted to come and speak to you all about. Now, for many of us, when we hear the word Trinity, we probably often think of uh, the Holy Trinity, right? The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. And by definition, Trinity, the word Trinity is a group of three people or things. And so the concept I want to speak to you about today is the Trinity of a woman. Like these three parts of us that exist, that are running the show, that are showing up in our life and in our business. <clears throat> and uh, the first of the Trinity is the little girl, right? The second is the sister girl. And the third is the God girl. This is you as the divine queen that you are, that God has intended for you to be. And, and oftentimes, especially for those of us who are believers and we give our lives to Christ, we kind of skip definitely the little girl aspect and jump right into being God's girl, right? The queen girl. Well, not even necessarily skip into being, notice I use the word being, but into professing that aspect of our life and rightfully so, right? Um, we're God's girl. We, we are a God's girl. But the part that most people skip in the Trinity of a woman is the little girl. And the little girl is embodying who you were <clears throat> in the beginning, like before it all started. And our first teachers in becoming that were either our parents or our guardians. Now, my personal journey as it relates to, you know, growing my business and my life has included a vast number of years and dedicated hours into self-improvement, inner work, healing, uh, things of that nature because I realized that although I was gifted in areas, the gift would make room for me, but it wouldn't necessarily sustain me. And it got to a point where I began to take self-improvement, self-development self um, more seriously. It became 90% of the work that I did um, on myself as it related to growing my life and my business. There were uh, these seemingly patterns or circles I kept coming back to that even under the title of being a God's girl, they weren't fixing. And so I understood especially um, one thing that God really tells us is that our lives are transformed by the renewing of our mind. And our mind is our soul. Our soul is our mind, our will, and our emotions. What many of you may not know, especially if you're new, um, relatively new, or you've been following me for maybe the last four years, you may not know that my entrepreneurial journey started in the beauty and wellness industry. And I remember we had this beautiful pamphlet um, that we gave out to all of our guests. I owned a, a full service um, um, beauty business, a day spa and, and wellness business. And we had pamphlets that we gave out to the guests. And the tagline on that pamphlet said, mind, body, and spirit. Mind, body, and spirit. And, you know, it's so funny because as I continue to evolve, there, I just can't get away from that particular aspect. <clears throat> many of you know I say that we get our whole life over here. I have many clients who come to me for business help and advice to learn, for me to learn, okay, in the aspect that they come to me for business advice, I later learn that there are other dynamics that are actually running the show that are keeping them from that next best thing. And so there's no way I can run from 
um, the mind, body, and soul aspect, mind, body, and spirit aspect of, you know, building your life and your brand. I, I talk about you being your brand all the time and the fact that your brand is not your website or your logos or your pretty pictures, but your brand is being built from within. And so when I got this download, The Trinity of a Woman, and the three parts, the little girl, the sister girl, and the God's girl, or you, this is when you're operating in your divine um, queen state, I thought about how often we skip over that little girl aspect and how unaware we may be that that little girl is actually running the show. Maybe there were some things that didn't occur in childhood, um, daddy issues, um, things of that nature. Um, you know, sometimes we may throw tantrums or, you know, we may want all of the attention. Um, that's when we're operating from our little girl space. And when we're not getting that, you know, a, a temper tantrum may be, I'm just not doing this, right? I'm just not doing this. And it may be these silent words that we have that are coming from within that we're trying to maneuver through. We're trying to skip the little girl aspect. We're, we're trying to skip the, the sister girl aspect and go straight into being God's girl. And oftentimes that little girl is running the show. Like, is there something that she needed that she didn't get? All of that is inner work and healing. I was recently having a conversation with a friend who revealed to me that they believe that there are things from their childhood that they hadn't dealt with. This person is over 50 years old. And... You know, it was such a blessing to hear them come to that revelation because although in their financial life they had, you know, earned a lot of money, but they continued to have these um, hangups and hiccups that were occurring in their life. And for such a long time, you know, I try my best not to let, I'm, I'm a business uh, coach, consultant, and I'm also a certified life coach. And so I have to be really careful when I'm talking to friends that I'm not coaching, you know, my friends. And, you know, that's not the aspect of me that's always showing up, although it is a natural aspect of me. I was coaching before I knew it was coaching. Um, you know, this goes back to our, to our gifts, you know, making room for us. They come without repentance. There are just certain things that we have, um, gifts that you have as well that, you know, they just operate without us you know, paying too much attention on it. But, you know, I've been wanting to mention that to my friend. And I, I was just so glad that they were able to come to that revelation because I understood that they didn't deal with the little girl, the little boy in them, that everything that they were wanting to do would continue to have these hiccups and these trials. And we overlook this aspect so much. You know, if that little girl is running your business and she is um, lacking, you know, in the area of attention or she feels that she is because of maybe a void that wasn't fulfilled, you know, in childhood, it will show up in your business. It will show up in how you move and have your being and, and what you're doing in your business. And then there is the sister girl. Now, the sister girl is normally the part of you that you consult with in your head, right? Um, it may be the aspect of you that cheers yourself on. You know, you go girl. Um, she may give you girlfriend advice, you know, things of that nature. Um, she may cheer you on even when you're wrong, right? Even when what she sees you doing is not well for you she may cheer you on that's your sister girl right and so when sister girl is in operation um again this is where you may be consulting with yourself like girl you know you need to do this or girl you need know you need to do that and then there is god's girl and this is where, or when you're operating as a divine queen, and this is where you're operating from a God consciousness. And this girl operates completely different. 
And it's so important, if you, if you ever go back and visit the little girl in you and become aware of whether or not she's running your business and whether or not she's running your life, if there are um, if there are moments of, of disappointment and anger and what did you used to do when that occurred when you were a little girl? Are you still functioning and operating from that position even today in your business? Even today as a 35 year old, right? 25, 45, 55 year old. Is the little girl still running the show? You know, inner work is is so huge. I, I mean, anytime I even think of just completely moving along the lines, and this may be a little different for you all on my business page here, here recently, but maybe not, because I, I know that this mind, body, and um, spirit aspect is, is so connected. I talk about us getting our whole life over here all the time because I understand that um, each of those aspects, the trinity of a woman has an energy. The little girl has a certain energy that she functions, she moves, and she has her being from. The sister girl has an energy. And God's girl definitely has an energy. When you're operating in that God consciousness, that space where there is a level of faith and belief and the ability to release things that aren't serving you and the, the ability to discern and choose well, the ability to continue on, the, the ability to face your challenges um, head on, knowing that you are always taken care of and always supported. And so on today, I want to ask you, which girl is running the show in your business? Which girl is running the show in your life? Is it the little girl? Does she need attention? Does she need inner work and healing? Is there a space of awareness that you need to come to as it relates to, you know, am I operating from the space that that little girl would have been operating from in my business and in my life? Am I operating as, you know, sister girl, right? Where I'm having the conversations in my head, maybe even cheering myself on for something I know I don't deserve or desire, something that I'm settling for, right? You know, have I become um, just a fan of this space and time in my life because I have overcome some things, but I know there's another level. Or is the God girl rising in your life? Now, all three of these can operate at any given time and you get to choose, but one of the things that's so necessary for the little girl in you is that you do your work, that you do the inner work. Your, your brand is being built from within. It's not from the outside. It's not the logos, the websites, and the pretty pictures. It's from within. It's the thoughts, the words, your, your mind, your will, your emotions. That's what's building your brand. That's what um, is attracting people in and out of, of your life. And so it's a little girl operating your business, a sister girl or God's girl oper operating your business. Are you functioning from your God consciousness? That's my take for you on today. Of course, as always, I have other ways to support you. My Heal Sis 3-Day Master Life class is an inner work um, class that I'm hosting this month. I think the dates are the 23rd, 24th, and 25th. For those of you who would like to join me, maybe you, you're like, you know, let me see. Am I operating as the little girl, the sister girl, the God's girl in my business and my life? And many of you have probably started and embraced the healing journey and if you're ready to take it to new levels in 2024 I invite you to join us for that three-day master class there is also the academy which I believe the academy is such a foundational space for growing your business and your your, your brand it's a 12-month opportunity um, to work with me it's self-paced so it's a hybrid of being able to work with me live monthly and also being able to do the modules and the work on your own from abundance mindset, personal growth, business building, brand building, marketing, um, relationship building. It's a, a full on uh, growth track for women in business 
Um, the doors to the academy are always open to you. And then I have private opportunities for those of you who prefer to work one-on-one. -on -one. Maybe your life is extremely busy and a VIP day would work better for you where you could get the information and go back and implement at a faster rate. Either way.